Good day, I'm Mike Sreen, and last week we looked at this very interesting egg priest, but I don't feel like we actually did it justice, just due to the mere fact that we actually didn't use any eggs to speak of. <laughs> so I find that to actually be enough of an excuse to actually do one more week of just trying this wonderful and interesting deck out. Suggested by me by one of my subscribers, Kentucky. So again, obviously a shout out to this wonderful guy who has actually already sent me, I think also two decks in total, but I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it actually is more. So now though, since we actually have a second attempt at this, I find it to be a great thing if we actually could just do the one change that I actually was uh, proposing throughout the rest of the last week. So let's remove the Thought Steel and add the Vulture. I don't really want to go over the deck again. You can watch the very first episode uh, on this deck, and that should be more than enough. Um, I pretty much actually used pretty much half of the first episode last week just to go over this deck, and that is pretty much 10 minutes or something like that. But this deck is just so weird. Really, in short, this is a Sulaki uh, controlling deck, but for Priest. Very wonderful, makes very, uh, very high use of the X, especially the Dragon Egg, which is a new thing from Black Rock Mountain, which spawns a 2-1 uh, Dragon each time it gets hurt. So you can pretty much get infinite value out of it if you actually can get it uh, healed each and every time. It would be... Um, every time it would be uh, hit. So since we have so much uh, buffing here, I think we should remove everything. I will keep this one because it's cheaper, but also because of the card draw. The villains chosen, I feel like we just have to get more stuff, um, higher or a higher ability to actually get some stuff we can use. Which is why I chose to go for uh, removing the villains chosen. I mean, if I had known that I would get the Northshire Cleric uh, for the one card that I already threw away, I would probably have kept the villains chosen, but this should be fine. So the, our opponent is going to go for a coin and the knife juggler. So we can be pretty certain that we're actually going to go up against some kind of a Sue or a demon deck, at least. So, thing is, he can kill this. That is pretty certain. So we probably have to just heal this one up and hit him in the face. There's nothing better for us to do. Damn, that was wrong. I have to play the slower, actually. I really have to just play slower, but okay. Next turn, we can just do all of the stuff we probably would want. Though, yeah, we can actually heal it and abuse of sergeant. Problem just is, if he actually goes in and hits it, and maybe even gets a knife into it, I don't think we will actually be able to get more than one card of, out of this North Shark Cleric, and actually have wasted a lot of stuff in it. This, though, looks much, much better. We cannot really deal with the knife juggler right now. Hopefully the abuse of sergeant will be able to, but... We will be able to kill the taunt, get some minions down, and also get the heal up so that this one is still safe, and get the card draw for it too. Ah, sweet, more card draw. So as long as this knife doesn't go into the abuse of sergeant, we pretty much actually have control of the board, and also of the pacing of the game, which is more important really to me, especially since this guy is a very Sulaki thing. We have to actually try and... Um, we have to try and see if we can keep up with him, because he is a warlock unlike us, so he is actually the one that is actually having the class that supports this playstyle the best. So let's just kill this immediately, because that's, this is just... I don't want it any more down. And let's do the same as we have done before, and we have more enough mana to do this too. Sweet. Cool. Still haven't seen any X yet, but at least I haven't then not played them last like last time. I As I understand it, Kentucky actually wrote on the first or the second video that I should actually just play the um, the um, the X immediately. So I will actually just do that this time around and just see how it actually fares when you do that. Hmm. I'm thinking about actually using Shadow Madness just on the Mistress of Pain. We will get the healing. It will be hit for three. We can actually also Shadow, Shadow Sun Cleric and hit in this first, so it will actually die too. Must actually, that isn't... But then we cannot Shadow Madness. That's, that's the reason why I don't want to do that. Cool. So, let's just do it. We get the healing ourselves, which is more than enough 
to actually just warn this thing. And we get it all the way to hit all the way, to, all the way down to three, so we can actually kill it next turn if we would want to. With a Shattered Sun Cleric in on the uh, North Shire Cleric. And just trading. That's fine. That should work. We've used one card to pretty much kill one card and hurt another one. Not really the greatest value, but it's fine. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like he actually has done any card draws, so... The fact that he is still at four cards and I am at four cards too means that we actually haven't really been able to do good uh, trading or, or good high value out of all of this stuff, but... Interesting. So... Actually, we should maybe think about... Oh, this should work. Um, yeah, let's just do this. And trade in this way. And this way. Perfect. This pretty much is impossible for him to kill. Um, if he is uh, the usual Sulok, I do not expect him to have something like a Siphon Soul. So when we actually have it healed, or just wait until uh, it is needed to heal it, then it's going to be fine. I probably would rather want to just... Oh, he has Siphon Soul. Well, this is one of the problems of actually playing at this low of a rank, I guess. Just the fact that you actually have to... Um, Pretty much just have it. You cannot really be expecting exactly what you will one up against. But on the other hand, that also makes for a high variety. So I won't really complain about that. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. And I think we should just keep on pressure, actually. And maybe we can populate that so that is actually a good thing for four mana. Master, cool. This could actually be very useful, especially since we don't have um, that much, uh, that many cards. We have Sylvanas and Lothep, so we can actually. Uh, throw down some big and scary stuff actually throughout the next two turns, but I think this cult master is actually going to be really good for us. It isn't really the body that I was hoping for. I was hoping for some kind of a yeti or a senjin, but this is fine too, as long as it doesn't hellfire. But I don't think a bomb lobber, so <laughs> obviously it kills the one thing I didn't want it to. Well, shit happens, I guess. There's a dragon egg, so let's just play the dragon egg, as I understand we have to do. Let's heal that, then we will have five mana left for actually also playing the lower step, and let's hit him in the face. And we are actually ahead. Pretty cool. So even though that he has actually more cards than I, it seems like I have just been able to keep on applying pressure and actually still keep on board control, though I still do hope... Actually, he has been able to... Uh, catch up with me with the um, with Cardwolf, but still, we won. Cool. And it wasn't even just because of the Vulture. Sweet. And so 70 we go. This is this is just a wonderful deck. It plays very much like a Sulok. It looks like I'm also just a little bit more aggressive than I usually am. See, I mean, I'm very much a controller player. I also said that last week, but I am very, very bad at anything that is less than heavy control. <laughs> Which is also why my favorite deck is the um, Echo Control by Day9 and any mill deck that has ever existed. <laughs> Just because they're so wonderful at contro controlling the board. Oh, also, ob obviously, the Shadow Priest is wonderful too. Also by Day9, funnily enough. Let's remove the Recombobulator. I think the yeah, Abusive Sergeant could also be removed. But it is very high, good synergy, especially since we can then maybe get the uh, Northshire Cleric to actually kill something important like a Mech Warper or the... Um, damn, the... Um, let's try and remember what it's called. The Mana Worm! Yes, that is what it's called. The 1-3 uh, card by, um, uh, that any mage has, pretty much. I just probably should stop saying uh, talking about the Mana Worm. Seems like my brain is just... <laughs> not really at its best right now, but at least unlike last week when I'm not going to cast in 28 degrees Celsius, but actually at a somewhat reasonable um, room temperature, probably 24 or 5. Okay, so a frostbolt that is to be expected, but at least our dragon egg, I guess, then is going to be more than safe, especially since we can then buff it next turn with a Valence Chosen. We we'll also have played the Abusive Sergeant this turn, just to... Um, Get a body on the board, but I don't really expect him to be that hyper aggressive with an unstable portal and the frost bolt. It looks to me it could easily be a mech warp or uh, mech mage with 
a pretty awful hand, but I would more expect it actually to just be a tempo mage or some s semblance of of that. Maybe it's a, some kind of a course between them. When we looked at the uh, tempo mages some weeks ago, there was a m one with a, me a lot of mech in it or some mech in it actually. So it could also just be that. It's hard to tell. I would probably lean over to the tempo thing. Oh, well, I mean, that is interesting. Hmm. Well, isn't this fine? I mean, it will. Yeah, we can just heal it up then, and we will get a minion for it. He doesn't have any demons in hand, obviously. So we can just end our turn with that. Have a lot of stuff on the board. Can pretty much trade for this. Don't he will have to use a fireball and a dragonag, which is a four mana one card for a four mana two card. So that's actually valuable for him. But I don't think he. Has, I don't. I don't think we actually going to see that. It just looks like he's actually a very s interesting deck with a lot of spell damage. I mean, I like it, but it's weird. But we should probably kill them all, because if not, we are probably going to lose everything we have, so... Let's just heal it up again, so that it's at least out of Frostbolt range in that way, that you also have to use the Fire Blast. And if you do that, I will have two of these whelps, plus the uh, fact that he will not be able to play anything except something for one mana this turn. So this should be very good, actually, for me. A Ak Arcane Intellect, very good uh, this turn and for my tempo, mean just due to the fact that he cannot really do much except just playing this one little thing, but we can just go in, heal again, and everything we would want. Actually, just go for Velen's Chosen on it, so that it is much safer. And spawn some more dragons. I was just silent for a minute just because I was thinking if I should do some kind of Game of Thrones reference, but I probably should not do that. <sighs> Water. Wonderful. I mean, I have nothing else really to do while I'm just waiting for him to actually do a play, so I'm just going to sip some water so that I don't die of thirst while uh, casting. So, Shadow of Death on that is pretty obvious. I mean, we can actually not kill it, so this is the only way for us to actually kill it, so. Let's heal that and play this one, cool. And let's just go in. Just heal it so that we can be completely certain that it's impossible to kill for a mage, except if he silences it, but then we will get a silence on a one mana, on three cards, really. So a silence on three cards, plus it has been able to kill two or three other cards, so that's wonderful, really. Could be a flame strike still. Yes, it could still be a flame strike. Yes, six mana in hand. That uh, six mana, and this would cost it one less. So one from seven is six. But it seems like an arcane missile is killing pretty much everything that we would hope it not to kill. But it's fine. It, but it very much also shows this uh, tempo thing that I was talking about. The, all of these cards. Except for some of these uh, spell damage things, are very much the things that you are going to see in a um, tempo deck. So, this seems like a tempo deck with some cool spell damage in it. I like it. More spell damage. Huh. Interesting. Wouldn't have expected that. Ah, okay, so the thing is, I'm pretty certain that the Mana Worm, if uh, I use the Shadow Madness, is actually going to be triggered. And get one extra damage from that. So it should be able to kill the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Then I should be able to go in. Yeah, this should work. I'm pretty certain that is how the rules work. It doesn't. Up your, up your, of course it doesn't. Why should it? Well, I mean, now we have nothing else to do. This was our guarantee for not being flame strike, but I guess we have just to do this. And the North Shark Cleric. There we go. Heal, get a card, get a lot of minions. Wonderful. Damn. Why do I keep on playing so fast? We couldn't. This power shield would have been able to rescue the North Shark Cleric from a flame strike. So if we get a flame strike now, th this loss of the North Shark Cleric is pretty much my 
problem. But it doesn't seem it could be still a blizzard. Oh, or flame strike. There we go. Well, then actually the North Shark character would still have been dead, but okay. Oh well. At least we still have something left. Let's kill it this way around and actually let's heal it even further against another flame strike. And give it taunt. That sounds great too. I should also have played the haunted creeper. I'm playing too fast. Oh well. At least I can see my um, my misplays, so that is one good thing. But I should actually have played this haunted creeper first, of course, so I could get the one, plus one plus one from the defender of Argus. So just that we can get better value out of this thing. But okay, at least it still is uh, uh, making sure that we are not going to be flame striked again. Somewhat. So he has three cards left. One of them is this Ogre Magi. So he still could have a Blizzard that could get plus one, but he wouldn't actually be able. To yes, Blizzard would freeze this. No, it wouldn't actually. It would only freeze this uh, to one whelp, but not anything else. So actually, it. Um, is, uh, it, the blizzard would be totally fine in this position. It would freeze everything ex and or kill everything except these one ones, so that's cool. Uh, Sylvanas, not really. We have nothing to. Uh, he can pretty much just kill Sylvanas, and we will get nothing out of it except for maybe a fireball. So this is fine. We also already have enough on the board to pretty much kill him or remove anything that he would want to throw down. It also doesn't look like he actually has anything big and scary, so. It's totally, that looks like interesting stuff to me. Grim Patron in a mage. I mean, interesting, to say the least. We have 10 damage on the board. And we have um, 8 damage on the board. But let's just... 8 plus 11. So yeah, actually, we have lethal. Um, we had lethal, except for the fact that I had to have way too many minions on the board. Because we could go for a plus 2 on any of these. Now, actually, we are still one off lethal, so it doesn't matter. Totally fine. Be these are going to be... He's not going to be able to kill everything I have, especially with the abusive sergeant and just anything. In here, he cannot really. He can go in with one of these and then fire blast it. Then he can go for one Grim Patron in. Still not really enough. If I can get through these taunts and then go for Abuse of Sergeant on just this Haunted Creep, it's going to be more than enough for us to actually be able to um, kill everything we would want. But it looks like he's actually going to kill the Haunted Creep. Still more than enough for us. Actually, that is probably the worst thing he could have done. Because he could have actually gone in with one Queen Patron, as I said. It would die, fire blasted. He would still have a 3-3 left. Could go in anywhere on these and still spawn this. He would have more on the board. But okay. There we go. Another kill. M pretty much actually just playing exactly how another Sulok would do. Just with a way too many high value minions. And we're already nearly breaking to 16. It looks like it's a really good day for me, actually. So even though that I'm playing a little bit too fast, it's actually going to be more than fine. Cool. So, we, we haven't actually seen a good play with Vol'jin yet. We, haven't, we have seen, though, a really awesome stuff with the egg, really showing the potential that this deck has, and why this, uh, this Dragon Egg is actually more awesome than you may think. Um, so, I'm actually very happy about how it seems to be going this week for us so thank you for watching see ya